Well, you know, Minnesota's timber industry has a rich tradition. After all, part of the state's folklore includes Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. Well, one Minnesota man sees money, not in cutting down trees, but in harvesting trees submerged for a century. Jason Davis went on the road to Reamer, Minnesota, to meet the man who's getting wet for wood. A century ago and more, the woods of northern Minnesota were logged for the seemingly endless supply of trees. The easiest way to transport the huge logs was on the lakes and rivers, and many became waterlogged and sank. Today, the bottom of hundreds of Minnesota's lakes are littered with these trees that were 80 years old at the turn of the 20th century. A fortune in high-quality wood that's been hidden in the deep, murky waters until now. Craig Waddell is a log guy. His home near Rima, Minnesota is surrounded by logs and built of logs. Craig is the rarest of men. He's a log hunter. Here we go. With the help of Chris Hinton and a specially designed and equipped pontoon, Waddell is taking inventory of the bottom of Minnesota's lakes. I have a better idea of what's under the water than anyone in the state. For the past few weeks, the two men have been trailing a $60,000 side scan radar through the deepest part of the lakes. That's what we've been looking for. Logs that sank in the shallows were extracted years ago, but at 60, 70, and even 100 feet, there are thousands of old first growth trees just laying on the bottom. This was out of the first original force. It grew tight, it grew tall, uh, and therefore it's not around anywhere in the world. Antique pines that are worth more than $100 each, and maybe hardwoods that could be worth a lot more. You might get a thousand, maybe you'll find one that's worth two or three thousand dollars. Maybe. Craig Waddell says he helped write recent state legislation that allows the public to salvage underwater lumber. He's on the front end of this new industry with his sophisticated tools that allow him to show potential investors where the logs are. Now I can come to people and say, now look, here's another 5,000 pieces I found. Craig Waddell expects to complete his search of Minnesota's lakes in the next few weeks, and he hopes to start recovering some of those long-lost logs before the end of the year. Jason Davis, Channel 5 Eyewitness News, on the road near Rima, Minnesota. By the way, historic artifacts that Craig Waddell and his team turn up during their search automatically belong to the state. Then coming up at 6.30, we'll talk live with one of the people involved in the meeting with Bud Selig. And tonight at 10, we have...